it does pose some interpersonal problems when we go from peer to manager, especially if that means managing our former peers. How can you handle it gracefully? How many new leaders will find themselves in new reporting relationships managing former peers? According to a Harvard Business Review article by Amy Gallo, if you take a typical group of executives and ask if they were promoted to lead their peers, 90% will say yes, according to Michael Watkins, author of The First 90 Days. If you find yourself in this category of manager, clarity on how to best transition will need your thought and consideration. Like everything else, it's best to get ahead of change if possible. Here are three tips for the new manager who now has former peers and friends reporting to them. Number one, remember leadership is about developing others. You know your peers, what they're good at and what their challenges are. Use this knowledge to set them on the road to success. Discussing their strengths and what they have to contribute can dissuade the ideas they are left behind as you rise up in your responsibilities. Acknowledging what they bring to the team and organization can help you find the best tasks and responsibilities to showcase their skills. Realizing the areas that they lack and upskilling them to compensate in these areas is an advantage to them. Number two, don't be put off if things feel strange. They will. Remember, one of the best tools leaders have are open-ended questions. Use them. Ask your former peers open-ended questions to garner how they feel about the new situation. People like to be heard. You're now in a position of authority. You need to listen and communicate to what people think and how they feel and let them know what's important to you. Don't let your new position be the elephant in the room. And number three, your relationship with your new direct reports is two-way. They do have a responsibility to it as much as you do. A leader cannot do it all. It takes cooperation and collaboration. If after attempting to develop and listen to your former peers, you being the leader still doesn't feel right, then face it. The conversation might then need to turn to why and to explore if they would be more content to find a different opportunity elsewhere.